Hello friends, welcome to yet another video. In this video, we will be creating a MCQ website using Elementor and without any external plugin. So this is a preview of the MCQ section, how it will look. So we will have the questions here, the three options here. And then we will have a toggle button where the user can see the answers or uh, whether he had estimated it correctly or not. If you are looking to have a system where the users can submit their answer, we have put a link in the description. You can go through that video where we will be allowing the users to input their results, their, uh, their submissions and you can see the, the options submitted as well. So without any further delay, let's go ahead and start creating this page. First of all, I'll just go to my dashboard and I'll click on add new page. So I'll right click and open a new page here. Now I'll select edit with Elementor on the top here. Once you are on this page, you can click on the plus icon here to insert a new section. So I'll just uh, click on the plus sign. I, you can select whatever type of section you want. I'll select this section so I can have some space on the right hand side to insert the banners if any. Now first of all, I'll just click on the plus sign here and I will insert a heading. We'll use this heading to insert the question. Now this heading is too big. So we can select a H4 instead of or a H3 instead of a H1. Here I'll write a Q1 dot which will be my question. So I can simply write whatever question I want. What is the capital of India? Now for the options, I will click on the top here and I will insert a text editor. In this text editor, I will select the number numbered list and I can enter all the options. Delhi, Mumbai, Gujarat. If you want more, you can add more options as well. Now we can simply replicate this to add more number of questions. Now I will create a section to show answer. For this, we will use a toggle tab, which is an inbuilt one in Elementor. Now there are two toggles which are added here. So I'll remove the second one by clicking on the cross icon here. And I can rename this one as show answer or simply as answer. And here I will have my answer option as tally. Okay. Now there is one problem with uh, this system. The toggle always remains open. So there is no option to keep it closed by default in Elementor. So there is no default option in here. So if we just open this uh, page here, I'll just uh, click on the page as have a look. And uh, this is how your page will look. Okay. Now, for this, what we will do is we will insert a HTML code. So I have this code. I have added uh, this code in the description also. So you can uh, simply download it from there. This will by default keep all the toggles off on your page. So to insert this uh, JavaScript code, we will have to search for HTML. 
once we've got the HTML here, we will drag this HTML on the top of the page. Here, we will paste it as a plain text and we will update the page. Now, when you reload this page, this will be closed by default and the users can click on the answer to check the correct answer. Now we can add one more question in here. I'll just uh, copy paste this. I'll do a control C and control V. Or I'll right click and do a duplicate. And I can change my question here. Which is the national bird of India? I'll name it as question 2. I'll again right click and duplicate the options tab. Similarly, the answers tab also. I'll just uh, duplicate it. I'll drag it and uh, put it at the bottom here. Okay, oops, it went on the right hand side. I'll get rid of this navigation and I can just drag it back here. Okay, and uh, similarly, the options also I'll do a duplicate and uh, here I can add the options such as Pro, Pigeon or Peacock. Okay, and we'll click on edit and we'll click on our answer tab and we will change it to Peacock. I'll simply update this page and I can go back here check the page in the incognito mode and uh, here we have now I have duplicated it twice so I'll just delete one of the options from there we'll right click and maybe delete and update So here you can see we have created a simple MCQ system using Elementor without any external plugin. Hope you like the video. You can check out this video for more details on how to create a MCQ page on your website.